I just came by to stir your soul up a bit. Put on your seatbelt. Get ready. This ride could have some turbulence. Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a video on makeup for glasses wearers or just if you're wearing sunglasses whatever this will suit you and I as you guys know I don't have a prescription these I just got the clear glass and mine are really pretty they're pink and I got sent these by a company called Fermo they were really nice to send me a pair and I'm in love with these glasses like they look so cute like I'd probably just wear them as an accessory because I think glasses are really nice and pretty. So they have so many different types of glasses to choose from. I just chose these ones. I will link the ones I chose down below. They came in this case which I thought was really cute. It's like a firmer case with like the world map on. I just thought it was adorable. And then inside were the glasses and then I got just one of these things to wipe your glasses clean. The delivery was quick. I like the quality of them. So I just created a really simple eye look. Like this is really annoying because there's I have a studio light there which is shining in my eyes. So you can't really see the eye makeup through the glasses right now. And I think this makeup's really nice and you can even wear it even if you're not a glasses wearer. But this is what I made for glasses wearers and I'm going to have some tips and tricks for you guys for applying makeup if you wear glasses. And I also have a free pair of glasses for you guys so you can collect your free pair of glasses by clicking the link down below including frame and lenses. All you need to do is enter your email address in on this link and you'll get a voucher code. So yeah, I'm really pleased with the quality of these eyewear. Like they're not flimsy, they're actually really good quality. So let's just head on right into it. So the first thing I am doing is applying my Benefit Professional Primer to mainly my T-zone and also my nose just to make sure my concealer will stay all day. And now I'm applying my Fit Me Concealer just to everywhere that needs correcting like under eyes and redness. And I'm just blending that in with my beauty blender. And now I'm going in with my setting powder. Um, it's just a translucent powder and this is really important if you want your makeup to stay in place all day without moving. And now I'm just filling in my brows and I'm using my sleek eyebrow kit and I'm brushing them up. And it's really important to fill in your brows in if, even if you don't normally. When you're wearing glasses because they can tend to kind of disappear behind the frames and now i'm contouring my face and just bronzing it up and now i'm applying a blush to my cheeks just to make myself look a bit more alive and happy and now i'm just applying this cream highlight to the highest parts of my face so I'm setting that with a powder highlight and now I'm going in with my naked 2 palette and first I'm priming my eyes with some concealer just to hide my veiny eyelids going in with this really light colour and applying that all over my lid and now I'm going in with tease and I'm just going to apply this as a transition colour and now I'm going in with snake bite and darkening up my outer V and my crease And I'm also going in with that on my lower lash line just to even out the look. And now I'm taking Booty Call and I'm putting that on the centre of my lid and the inner corner. And now I'm just darkening up my outer V and my crease. And now I'm highlighting my brow bone and my inner corner. And now I'm just going to wing my eyeliner and I'm using my Super Cat eyeliner. I'm just curling my lashes and applying my favourite mascara and I wouldn't recommend using falsies because they will just touch the frames all the time and it will be super annoying. 
and I'm just using some glitter and I'm applying that to the inner corner and this is just to make things a bit more popping you don't have to do that if you don't want to now I'm applying my NYX lingerie lipstick and this is quite a neutral colour because I am making quite a neutral look and now I'm just contouring my nose and my lower lip just to give the illusion of fuller lips and that is the completed look I really hope you enjoyed it if you did, give it a thumbs up and comment and subscribe if you're not already. I love you all so, so much and I will see you in my next video.